So you think you can only do a wash and go when you're doing this new oral new butter thing, but that's not true. Girl, girl, you see this style though? <laughs> I am looking super cute. My hair is super soft. So I can't wait to share with you how I achieved this. I mean, let's not even make this intro super long. Let's dive right in. But before I get started though, you already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every single time your girl uploads a new video. Also follow me on Instagram because yeah, I mean, I don't know. If you want to, I guess. <laughs> Hi out there, it is I, Jen J, and it is time to wash our hair. So we're looking at 12 days post, oh God, I look crazy. 12 days post wash day. I washed my hair last Friday and today is Tuesday. And yes, I wanna get better with staying on track and washing my hair every seven days exactly. But girl, life be getting in the way. We need to talk though, we need to talk. If it wasn't for the fact that my scalp is on Fire. I wouldn't even wash my hair. My hair feels that good. I know she looks crazy, okay? Please get over the fact that I stuffed my hair in a bonnet. Well, okay, let me give you a little timeline. I washed my hair last Friday. I did a wash and grow. Last Thursday, I used a mousse to put my hair into a puff. And that is it. So I haven't really refreshed my hair or put water into my hair or anything, but she just feels so good. She feels so soft. Yes, she is, I guess, dirty at this point, but it's just how my hair feels. It's such a different feeling than what I'm used to or how my hair has ever felt before. She just still feels so like soft. She's not greasy. I don't know how to explain it. Honestly, it's something that you have to try for yourself to really understand what I'm talking about. When I use the mousse, I just feel like it kind of reactivated the gel that was in my hair and made my hair even softer. So it really broke the cask that was in my hair from I Create Hold. And I Create Hold isn't a bad product, it's just a product that you need to use based on the result that you want, okay? So some of us want more hold, so it's going to give you more hold. And if you don't want that, then I'm assuming you don't have to use it. Or use a little bit less. In any case, my hair just feels so good still. Like, I, I don't know if you can tell, but she's just giving me all type of coils. And when I had my hair into the puff situation, she looks so good. Let's not make this super long. Let's hop in the shower and no, I'm not going to section my hair. No, I'm not going to pre-poo. That part still gives me a little bit of anxiety. I don't like it. Products that we're gonna be using today and sis, you are looking at this right. Three products only. We got AG Balance, highly talked about uh, shampoo when it comes to this, you know, little oil and butter thing. AG Boost, another highly talked about product. And just a mousse, yes. This one was sent to me from Instagram. So this is a gifted product, but I used it with my wash and go or to refresh my wash and go or to put my hair into a puff last week. And I really, really liked how you made my hair feel. So I'm going to use this one to set my hair. And ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This time around, I'm not going to do a wash and go. I know a lot of you guys want to know, or a lot of you guys want to see different styles that you can do other than a wash and go. We don't like wash and goes. Wash and go, I just feel like it's one of those things with the 4C community where we don't want it. So I'm giving the girls what they want. So let's get into styling, okay? Shower, wash, style. That's what I've been told, and that's what we do with. Actually, before we hop in the shower, you know I like to do a little scalp test. Given how itchy my scalp is, I'm sure I have some flaking. Oh, can I even get to my scalp? Scalp, where are you? Yeah, we have a ton of flaking. I mean, it's not really bad. Like, you really have to get in there to see it. It's really not easy to part my hair since... Oh, Lord. I just kind of really want to see if, you know, not using oil will kind of prevent or allow my scalp to not flake is what we have it's not bad but it's interesting because i feel like this time around i have really really small flakes um i don't know if that has anything to do with anything but this is what's going on right now all right now we can finally hop in the shower but before we do that we are going to need a bomb ass playlist 
Do you hear what I'm telling you? All right, well, let's hop in the shower and you know, we're choosing to live on the edge by putting our hair under the water just like that. You hear me? We don't section. We haven't sectioned in the past month and I don't particularly love it. I don't really know how I would section my wash and goes though because you know, my hair being fully shrunken in a wash and go would make it very difficult for me to go through and create my sections. That's one of the reasons why I used to pre poo before because using an oil would really help me work through the tangles. But I digress. I'm taking the time to make sure that my hair is extremely wet. And as I do this, I can feel, I guess the gel that used to be in my hair is water soluble. So it's gone. It goes away real quick and my hair is just there. And it feels really weird. It already feels squeaky clean and I haven't even used shampoo yet. It's a feeling that I'm definitely not used to. I'm literally just feeling my hair. Like, are you okay? Is everything good before we even get to shampooing? In any case, I continue to get my hair super wet before we go in with the shampoo. Yes, we're going in with AG Balance. Always emulsify the products in your heads first. It allows you to use less products and really activate the products before it goes on your scalp. And I'm trying to put the products on my scalp first just because I really want to get my scalp clean. I want to make sure I get my hair and my scalp clean, but my hair already kind of feels clean. So I am low-key avoiding it and trying to start with my scalp first. And I'm also being very gentle. I'm trying not to move my hair around too, too much but yeah as i do this i i keep trying to stretch my hair so that i can get rid of some of the tangles because girl it did not feel really good and i had to dense it off you know just let it be it's gonna be okay jen <laughs> All right, so after I go in and make sure that my scalp is clean, I'll drag the shampoo along the strands of my hair. And as I do this, I am separating my hair. I'm stretching it so that I can work through some of the tangles because like I tell you, I don't know how they do this, but my hair did not feel tangle free. And perhaps it's because I waited 12 days until I washed. They do suggest not to wait too long because the longer that you wait, the more tangles you're going to have. So maybe that has something to do with it, but I took my time there to kind of stretch my hair and also work through it, separate it as I went along because ultimately that is going to help me detangle down the line. And at that time, I didn't want to freak out, but the entire time I was thinking, how am I going to detangle my hair? With the wash and goes that I did for the past month, my hair didn't feel really bad except when I used a clarifying shampoo which we'll get into in another video but this time around my hair definitely felt um you know strept it felt strept you know that strip feeling that we like to avoid well there she is ladies and gentlemen and she is going strong so I went ahead and rinsed the shampoo out and as I did this I really tried to use the water and gravity on my side to separate my hair and as my hair was under the water it felt a little bit better we are not going to stop there if we're gonna do this we are going to commit so i went in with a second shampoo but before i did that i really took my time to kind of feel my hair you know she just feels so different she 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 doesn't feel like my hair in any case going in with a second shampoo we're putting it on my scalp first like we did before before we go in and you know do that motion right there this whole journey makes me realize that perhaps we just really weren't washing our hair the way that we were supposed to because i would never do all of this before and if anything i would coat my hair with an oil first to prevent it from getting stripped by the shampoo so it's very interesting i don't know if there's such a thing as over washing we are keeping track of that anyways this is what my hair looks like with all of the shampoo she is squeaky clean and i'm gently trying to stretch her and and separate her not too much not too much i feel like if i forced it without you know my hair being ready to be separated it just wouldn't work out for me it would just create more tangles so i just kind of let the water run through my hair um rinsed it out and then we went in with a conditioner and this is my hair squeaky clean my scalp feels really clean my hair feels really clean and thank god for ag boost i just have to say that this conditioner girl whew, i can see why people don't need a deep conditioner because she is just luxurious she is thick she almost lathers in your hair 
um, or I guess foamed up. I don't know how to explain it. You'll know exactly what I mean in a second. But once you put this into your hair, it just feels like she's been delivered. My sins have been forgiven, okay? My hair just bounced right back. She soaks it all in. And yes, I love this conditioner. She's expensive, but I can see why. So I went ahead and worked the conditioner through my hair. This is me literally saying, I love it. So as soon as the conditioner hit my hair, she feels a lot better. I felt like there was hope at the end of the tunnel. At this point, I could start to separate my hair bit by bit, of course, trying to be very gentle. I don't know how people go through this part really fast and detangle their hair really fast. But for me, I take my time to distribute the conditioner through my hair before we even think about detangling. And I have to admit, this conditioner, like I said, feels lovely on the hair. All right, so now we're going to section my hair before we start detangling and oh, oh thank god for sections okay i don't know why they say not to use sections because for me and my house we like sections sections keep us sane i went ahead and put my hair into some sections and i'm going to finger detangle the sections first before we go with the brush so i'm taking my time to really go in massage the, the conditioner in and break down some of the tangles and that part felt really good it didn't take too too long for me to actually de finger detangle my hair and then from there we're moving in with the brush so it was okay from the conditioner onwards it's just the shampoo step that i need to get used to and the felicia leatherhood brush really helps out when it comes to working through your hair and working through the tangles by no means is it easy by no means is it fast. If anything, I would like to take even more time to detangle my hair, but I don't wanna hop out of the shower and then hop back into the shower and do this, so whatever. But I don't love standing in the shower for so long trying to detangle my hair. It typically takes me about half an hour-ish. So yeah, anyways, rinsing out the conditioner, we went ahead and wash our face, wash our body and let the conditioner sit just for a little bit. And then we rinse it out and we're done. Out of the shower we go, this is what my hair looks like. I'm actually going to take out all of the twist and my hair feels really good. Look at my edges, y'all. My edges are flourishing. My hair feels great at that point. Yes, Jen, yes. Moving on with a mousse. Now this is very interesting. I've just, I don't think I've ever done this in my entire life. Just gone straight with clean hair and mousse. Where they do that at? I, I don't know. But girl, that's what I did. She felt really weird going on. I'm not even going to lie. It's just one of those feelings that I've never experienced in my entire life. You know what I mean? Mousse on clean conditioned hair interesting and you can see my face i'm just like okay that's what y'all want me to do I just feel my hair under the product so i just went ahead and put my hair into some flat twist that's the style that i was going for it's definitely a feeling that one would need to get used to getting over the mental hurdles of using mousse or gels straight on your clean conditioned hair I'm telling you right now it's a feeling that one will have to get used to but i went ahead and used the mousse and the mousse actually feels really good the mousse that i'm using she's very rich on the moisturized side so it doesn't feel dry or anything like that it's just an interesting feeling halfway through i was like wait a minute what why don't i use a foam on the other side so i was like let's experiment a little bit let's see if our results are a little bit different so i went in with the we dad curl play foam it's discontinued but i have it so i wanted to use it and see if that made a difference now it felt different the we dad is more watery in a sense so it made my hair a little flatter a little straighter when it came down to doing the flat twist the two products felt slightly different as i was setting my hair the foam didn't absorb as fast into my hair as the mousse did as you can see the side with the mousse is already basically drying and the foam is just kind of sitting there the foam had more slip and made my hair lay flatter than the mousse did and to be fair i don't know what is the difference between mousse and foam if somebody knows please let me know 
I don't know what the difference really is between the two, which is why I wanted to try them. I was gonna do this half wrap my hair around itself situation and I was like, um, that's kind of stupid. So let's just go with bento knots. So I took it out and just completely put my hair in bento knots and I figured that would give me a nice little voluptuous look versus having my hair straight out and perhaps what if it didn't turn out good. I just feel like you can really hide any imperfections by curling your hair, okay? And that's about it. It was really fast setting my hair this time around. I did it all under two hours just because I only wash conditioned and then pop my hair into the flat twist. All right, so we are done. My bathroom is an absolute mess. I have water and products everywhere. We're gonna stand in the dryer for a little bit and then take this out most likely tomorrow, okay? Not late, for the first time ever I did my hair during the day. <laughs> We're tired, we did a lot. All right. See you later. Girl, I almost left without showing you my hair ball. I always be trying to act like I'm going to forget. It's the most important part. There she is. I have to check my last video. I feel like she's a little bit bigger this time around. However, I left my hair in the wash and go for longer than usual. I think I did 12 days and this may be the longest stretch that I did with a wash and go. So. This is what she looks like. So almost two weeks of shedding. And yes, I made sure to pick up every single strand of hair. You know, oh, I missed one. And let's add her to the pile. And yeah, there I go for a grand total of this much. All right, so it is the next day and we got our makeup done. We're looking kind of cute. It is time to take down this hair, you guys. And this is when I would want to put a little bit of oil in my hands. You know how we do? Boop, boop, boop. However, we can't do that. We can't do that. So this is very weird. I mean, we just gonna take her out, right? Let's do, let's do that. And if you remember, I used two different products. I think it was mousse on this side and foam on that side. I think so. It was only yesterday, but you know, who remembers? First impression, the side with the mousse feels a little softer, as in has less hold. Not like that this side feels hard, but it just feels like this side has less hold. That's it. All right, let's take this out. Okay, I see. I see the type of style we're working with already. You can see it, right? It's gonna be a little curly updo. Now I kinda wish I didn't make it curly because I just had a curly fro like a couple of weeks ago. But it's okay, you can never do enough curly froze, right? And you guys know, because my hair has been flat twisted, I feel like the separation is already happening on its own, you know? I may not have to do a lot of separating or anything, but we'll see. I may also have like a bald spot on top of my head. Who knows? I don't know. Does anybody know the difference between foam and mousse? I am very intrigued. I, I wonder if there's an actual difference. You know, because people will say style with a foam, but yet they're talking about most depth or the do, as everybody called it. And the do is technically a mousse, right? So far, my hair feels pretty good. I have to say, this side, like I said, is very, like, very soft. And this is more, it feels like I have gel almost in my hair. It's interesting because I thought this side was gonna turn out better or softer, but. I'm liking the side with the mousse better. It feels more moisturized. All right, I need to get myself a pick so I can pick this out, so BRB. Oh, this is so pretty. Except for, what do I do with the middle of my head? I feel like I have a, a flat top. I'm dead. Oh, there we go. We are going to cover it up like magic. One thing that I'm noticing, I have a little bit of flaking with the foam. And you know what? This foam has been flaking on me ever since I've been using it. And I thought it was because of technique, maybe not enough water or whatever, but I feel like every time I use it, there's a little, little bit of flaking. She is looking so beautiful. You know how I get. I'm gonna start acting brand new in two minutes, okay? Wait a minute, just give me two minutes and I'm gonna start acting brand new. Oh, she looks so good, you guys. You see, I wish you could see this in person. No, just a little bit of separating, not too much. I think my my problem is right in the middle. So I'm gonna see if I can move some of this back. And the goal is to like keep picking 
wherever you want the hair to go, pick in that direction. So flip it, reverse it, do what you gotta do, okay, girl? Especially if you have any uh, parts showing, do that. I feel like I'm messing it up a little bit though. I feel like this is a hairstyle that my mom probably did when she was young. I kind of feel like I saw a picture of her looking like this. Okay, I mean, is there anything else that I need to do? This middle part still kind of bother me. I just feel like, okay, when you set your hair, you should try a different technique, okay? Go forward and backwards so that you get a little bit of, I don't know, something in the middle. I don't feel like it's bare in there. Or is it just me? Let me know. What do we think? A little 360? Mm-hmm. Yes. I think I look super cute. All I need is earrings. Earrings. All right. There we go. Damn. Damn. I'm not even going nowhere. Ah. Ah. Yeah. All okay. right. Which side do we like best? I feel like I get a little tiny bit of volume over here, but she is softer. A bit more hold, just a tiny bit more, and a little bit more definition on this side as well. You know, you can't win them all. You can't win them all, apparently. But this style is super cute. <laughs> all right, we are just gonna wrap up this video because, you know, yeah. That is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is the style. You know, another look, another angle because uh, 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 uh. you see this bounce? You see this movement? I love it. She turned out super cute and my hair feels really, really nice. And you know what? She doesn't feel greasy at all. And that's kind of like the feeling that I'm used to when it comes to doing my hair with you know, oils and butters. I would have used a little bit of oils to take down this style and my hair would have felt a little greasy. But now, no, no greasiness at all. She feels really nice. The side with the mousse, like I said, is a little bit um, just softer than the one with the foam. The foam, you can definitely feel the hole just a little bit, not too much. But it's a matter of preference, you know, the products that you use. And <laughs> I did this without any oils and butters. It's crazy. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to experiment with more styles. And before you suggest that I need to use the do, she's been bought. We're just waiting for her to get delivered. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.